Hello, hello, Jeff Helvin here with Balin Brands, and we've been getting questions about how to receive text messages from your Twilio, custom Twilio number. So I wanted to show you how we can do that. We actually do it in Twilio's interface. So we're gonna get a little geeky here, but I'll show you it's pretty easy to set up once you know where to go. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna log into the Twilio interface, which is what you see here on my screen. From here, we're gonna click on the three dots for all products and services. And we're gonna scroll down here. We're looking for what's called Twimmel bins. I know it sounds weird, but it does mean something. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. So the, the TWI part stands for Twilio, and ML stands for markup language. So much like HTML stands for hypertext markup language, or XML stands for extensive markup language. Basically what it is is a code that we're going to add in order to tell the program, which in this case is Twilio, the service, to, to use this program to send on the message. So once we're in here, you'll see I already have a couple here. We're going to start from scratch. We're going to click this little plus sign, and we're going to go ahead and give it a name. So send text to me if you want to call it. If it's just your account and we don't need to name it specific to a particular contact, then just go ahead and say that. Otherwise, if you want to send it to a particular agent for this phone number, we might give the agent's name in this case. Now, we'll see over here on the right, it has a little sample of what you can do as far as the code is concerned. So in this case, we actually want to use this one down here to the right, the response message. So here, we'll go ahead and you could just copy and paste this, but I'm actually typing it out because I have something else uh, copied here. And you'll see then it wants to, we have, it says response, then the next line we go ahead and put message to equals, and then the phone number. So this would be your phone number that you want it to go to. So in our case, this would be my phone number. So we want it to go there and close that out and then what do we want the actual message to say so what we wanted to do is we wanted to pull in the actual who sent it as well as the message that they sent so if someone were to reply no thank you if you were to text them something from this custom number and they reply no thank you we would want it to say which cell phone number it's coming from and we'd want the message that says no thank you. We'd want both of those pieces as part of the message that's coming back to us. So I'll go ahead and close that up here. Response. Okay, and this is now created as our test here. So this was one way to send a text. The other option we have, and I'm gonna show you where to put this on your number in a moment, the other option we have is to actually have, what if someone were to dial that phone number? Well, right now, if they dial your custom phone number in Twilio and you don't have it set up to forward to you, well, then it's simply just going to go into the internet there, you know, out in the space, and it's not going to come through to you. So if you do want to actually dial a number, this is how we would do that here. So in this case, the response, when something comes in, from that particular number, or to that number, I should say, the response would be to dial, and then we put in the actual dial number, which, what number you want it to dial. So if I wanted my custom number to come to me, then I would simply put in my phone number. And notice I'm using the plus one in front of it so that it handles the actual uh, country code as well, because this is an international type of platform, so it needs that as well. So this here is the code. We have the open response tag, then we have the dial and tell it what number to dial, and the close response tag. And I could save this also and hit create, and instead of send text to me, this would be call me, for example. Okay. So now, once I have those two saved, we'll actually see in the bin here that we have these two options. So the last step is, is to actually configure which phone number to use which markup language. So I'm gonna click here onto phone numbers on the left hand side. And you'll see these are my active numbers here. So if this is the case, then I can click on the number itself. And it allows me to down here choose what to do. So accept incoming voice calls, it's got all that. So all calls come in, 
and it says in this case this is for Lori's cell so if all all calls that come in I want to choose and we choose this option because that's what we just built so there's these other options here that we won't use but we're going to choose that option and we're going to click here to choose which of those two so in this case if a call comes in I wanted to call Lori's cell if a message under here under messaging if a message comes in I want it to SMS Lori okay so then we just go ahead and hit save now keep in mind guys the the actual text originated from another system so if we're using like Keller Williams command or if you're using this on another third party that system is actually what sent out the message in the first place so when someone replies to that message this is a way for you to get a notification on your own cell phone for example but that does not mean you will be able to carry on from your cell phone a conversation back and forth with them keep in mind that this this message again originated outbound from the original system and you're just getting a notification so you will want to go back to your system that sent the message in the first place in order to respond hope that makes sense so what you're getting here is just a notification that it happened and you know to prompt you to go back to your system to engage with them more. So if you have any questions on that, by all means, reach out to us. You can email us at team at or give us a call, and we look forward to helping you.